get your dancing shoes on because we are taking you to a local studio to learn some of the most iconic Halloween moves. Let's check back in with our Brandy Williams. I had been at an audition and a, and a gig for the Emmy Awards, which the choreographer uh, Michael Peters was doing, and I met him through that job and then went back to my little studio. I had dance studio at the time, and he called me out of the whim, out of the whim and just said, hey, Marcia, I know you live a couple hours out of town, but I'm doing this gig with Michael Jackson. Do you want to do it? And I was, of course, crazy, screaming, absolutely, 100%. And he was like, it's not a glamour gig like you just did. It's kind of like, you know, ghouls and goblins and kind of spooky. And rehearsal start will be at Dead Reynolds uh, rehearsing. And then it will be a week of rehearsal and then a week of a nighttime shoot. So here we go. Walk into the studio. Michael Jackson's already there. Ugh. Just in awe of the fact that he's in the room. And he's like, he's a big spirit. Like he was moving around or he was laughing and giggling and just a, a, an extremely sweet soul. When doing the choreography, what do we have to know? Give us a little tip, because we all want to do it. We want to perform it like you. Probably you're not going to like it, but we're going to try. So what do we need to focus on on doing it? It's called isolations. If you notice, Michael always has his neck. He's always moving his neck around, and I can still do it because I still have to. So, and there's a lot of isolations. It's like your rib cage and your shoulders, okay. and you've got to be able to separate parts of your body. It's tricky. It's tricky. But just doing the just of it, you know, like the run and the, and the shimmy, that little famous step, we practiced that for 25 minutes back and forth. And it, we did it once to the right, uh, right, one to the right, one to the left, and that was it. And we practiced, but it was very specific. Well, that was a great tip for Marseille. If you want to learn all of the moves of the Thriller dance, well, all you have to do is check out Top Fever San Diego. Let's go learn it. <laughs> Studios is a nonprofit. We're a 501c3. Um, in many ways, we're very similar to a standard dance studio: tap, jazz, ballet, contemporary, hip hop, afro, mm, musical. Um, but what makes us a little bit different is we have a lot of programs for dancers with disabilities. So our whole goal is to make sure we can provide opportunities to anybody who wants to dance. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, October, Halloween time. One thing that everyone thinks about is Thriller and the Thriller dance. Yes. So tell us all about Thriller San Diego. I see it on your t-shirt there and what it's all about. Thriller San Diego, I became involved with the group um, about six years ago. And, you know, Halloween time, I figured, oh, well, let's, let's do the Thriller dance just for fun. And I posted it online and somebody from that had been doing this version of the Thriller dance contacted me, Christopher, and um, was like, hey, are you doing the Thrill the World, World version? And I was like, the what? <laughs> so learning about it is actually so awesome. Um, a lady named Inez created this um, years ago with the goal of it being breaking a world record for the most people around the world doing the exact same version of the Thriller dance at the exact same time. And she did it, and it was so successful that people have continued it year after year. That's a lot of fun. I mean, everybody's familiar with Michael Jackson's Thriller. When it first came out, I remember sitting there with like my parents watching it on TV, and we were all just our jaws dropped. And I always thought that would be fun to do that. And once you start doing it, you realize it is fun to do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's for anybody, anybody, any age. You can't not have fun doing it. <laughs> 